Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Project. In this module, I want to show you how you can add a traffic-like indicator system to your project plan. So this project on the screen has a baseline. I've saved a baseline and I've updated some of the tasks. So if I go to the tracking Gantt, for example, and show you the movement on that tracking Gantt, you can see that there is some movement off the initial baseline like so. So that's the initial baseline and that's the tracking so far. Now none of the tasks have been actually updated as complete. The start date's moved but I'm just going to update some of these and put the tracking table on to so you can see how that would impact the traffic lights that I'm going to put on. So if I go into the tracking table and just update some of these actual duration times um, say three days and three days on that one so that should have cost me some extra money so actual cost is 240 it was just a one day task initially now it's cost me th it's three days of costs so I want a traffic light system uh, I might put it in this this particular Gantt chart table you can create your own table, you can save your own tables and then edit that. I always recommend you do that rather than messing up the default ones. But for this little session, I will do it on this table. So right click, you're going into custom fields and then you're going to customize one of these text fields. So I'm going to rename text one, rename it. I'll call it budget status. That's what the title is still going to be text one though you can still search for it as text one and then I want to go to formula and I'm going to do an immediate if so basically that's in functions and then it's under general and then this one so a basic if statement as in Excel and other programs has three elements a test what to do if that's true what to do if that's false separated by commas so the test for this one is going to be to do with costs. So if actual cost, which is the current spend, is greater than the planned cost, which is the baseline cost, cost baseline cost, the first one, there's like obviously 11 baselines, but just the first one. If that's true, we are going to be over, and that needs to go in quotes, actually, over budget close quotes otherwise we are within budget close quotes now I could put greater than or equals to for us to be within budget but let's not get too detailed but that's correct click OK to that it tells you it's going to change that information if there was an error there it would come up with syntax error and then you'd have to look at your formula if I click OK to that and then insert that column, which is just text one, so I can I can go there and type T, text one, it's called budget status as well. You've got within budget, over budget, and over budget. these two that I've just made or well, elongated are obviously over budget. Now that's great, but I want that to be a traffic light symbol, or I want it to be if it's over budget, I want it to go red. If it's within budget, I want it to go green. So if I go back into this, so right click on the top, custom fields, still on the first one, text one, going for graphical indicators. And then basically I need to change both of these options to equals. And then very carefully, you have to type exactly the same as you typed in the if statement. So if it's within budget, so if I type within budget, if you do a typo there or a space or anything, you will get an error message. If that's in budget, I can have a green smiley face right down the bottom. And if it's over budget, I'll have a sad red face. So using these graphical indicators, that's right down the bottom as well. Sad face, happy face. OK, OK. And then it switches them over to show you that. Now to create the traffic lights, so you've got, let's say if it's um, over 75%
complete you want it to show green or 100% green over over 50% yellow and then less than that red or you could have it four traffic lights I know it's not really a traffic light system where you could have it not started could be a particular color over 25% or up to 25% it could be red and up to 50% amber and then after that it's green totally up to you you're still using the same thing and you're using the graphical indicators but this time you have to do an if statement it's a slightly bit more complicated than the one I've just done so I'm going back into custom fields custom fields and I'm going to do another if statement so I'm going to rename text to and I'll just call this let's try and call this status I'll have to put a probably um, a one after it because there's a field called status status one and then I'm back into formula I'm going functions general if getting rid of all that so this is going to be a bit more complicated I'm going to have to do a nested if so basically the field I want is number percentage complete so if percentage complete is greater than 75 comma I want that to say one so I need to do a, a comma and then another IIF open bracket and then the same process again field number percentage complete is greater than 50 comma 2 comma and then an, I'll just do this last one so you're getting three nested ifs if you like field number percentage complete is greater than 25 comma three and then if none of them are true if it comes all the way to end to the end comma zero and then i need three brackets to close this off because i've got one if two ifs three ifs if i click ok and just see if it likes that okay it did like that so now i can click ok and then insert text two so insert column i didn't need to do that actually text two type t status one then it comes in with the numbers so three is less than 50 two is over 50 and complete is is one now i need to go and do the gra graphical indicators again so if i go back into this custom fields um leave that selected go to graphical indicators so it is going to be equals again if it equals one this time you want that to be a comp a green it's complete and then if it equals two it's going to be amber two amber like so and then if it equals three it should be red so equals each time three should be red so sometimes you want you need another one so you've got stuff that's not started like that click OK okay and then the number should change color or i could have done zero for not started actually for black let's do that if i go back into it custom fields graphical indicators and the last one is equals to zero can be black which means not started zero black not started okay 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 so then we get it all filled in well it's gray not black but there you go you've got one indicator telling you whether you're over budget or not and then you've got another indicator telling you whether the project's complete started pending or whatever it's doing or whatever you want to say you can just see the numbers when you hover over it but you're now customizing this tracking table what i perhaps should have done is save this table so when you go to view tables you can save uh, these fields as a new table so it's not going to destroy the actual structure of the tracking table so you've always got the chance to come back to the tracking table defaults but that's a, a different session hopefully this one's been of use adding your own custom fields thank you for your time and i'll catch you on the next one